Hello friends, welcome to a new video. Today we are going to test some new ad supplies that has been kindly sent to me by Fila Spain. And we are going to try a travel set by Dale Rowney, Travel Palette. Also, some new brushes from Dale Rowney, too. And new paper from Canson. 300 grams watercolor paper. So, first, I'm going to do some swatches with the, the travel set the new brushes and the paper and then we are going to go outside to try the travel palette and paint something on the wild so let's try them and see what happens bye
And now I'm going to tell you my opinion about each of the new materials that I have tried. What I liked the most would be the travel palette. I like that it is very small and very thin, which allows you to carry it anywhere in your travel kit or to paint outside. And it weighs very little, which for me is very important because I can't carry a lot of weight. Second, although I don't usually like pan watercolors because they usually have very little pigment, this is not the case. Pans have a lot of pigment and they re-wet very well, not needing to use a lot of water, which means that the colors are intense from the beginning and it is not necessary to insist and insist. And then I liked the range of colors a lot, obviously not all of them, but they are quite beautiful. So I would recommend this travel palette if you are looking for a good option, not very expensive. In the case of the brushes, I have also liked them, the ones with natural hair. We have one made of goat hair and one made of saddle hair, which are quite good. They take a lot of water and also a lot of pigment and they are very soft and flexible and I have liked them a lot. And in the case of the synthetic ones, they are the typical synthetic brushes that are very useful for once the first layers has been applied, then you can add those details, etc. with a slightly stronger hair. They also have a good tip and keep the shape very well. This little brush, for example, comes in handy because you can carry it with the travel palette and, as I say, not to have to carry a lot of weight and you can make some small watercolors with it. The paper would be what I liked the least. In this case, this paper is not cotton, it is cellulose. And I will tell you that although it's not bad paper, it is what they will call a student grade paper, not professional grade paper, which is so much better, of course. So although it's not bad, it takes a lot of time to absorb the water and the pigment. You have to wait a lot. So maybe it's not for using a lot of water, more for a dry and wet technique. But I would recommend it as a student grade paper if you are starting to paint uh, because it's much cheaper than let's say the Arches paper, the professional grade paper. You already know that Arches is my favorite paper and of course it's not the same level because Arches is 100% cotton. But as a paper to start, if you don't want to spend a lot of money, it would be fine. And this could be all. If you have any questions about the materials, that we have seen today, then you can ask me in the comments as always. Thank you so much for watching and see you very soon in the next one. Bye!